Hi. Well, here we go then. Um, finally finished the X6 from Skywalker. I bought it from FPV Models over in China. A um, couple of things uh, you need to know about it. It's a um, 1500mm wingspan. Um, I'm not sure the weight. It's, it's about 2 kilograms, a little bit less. Um, I'm going to try and fly it with a 5 amp battery. But at the minute, it's a little bit nose heavy. So I'm going to either buy new batteries or find a way of getting this to balance. I don't really want to add any more weight to it. If I can uh, help it. Um, it's been a while, I'll tell you why. Um, a lot of you know I build antennas, um, so obviously my customers have got to come first. Um, that's it, that's the crack of it. I can't uh, say to them I'll build an aeroplane when they want their antennas. So, um, so I've had uh, a few other things in the house, uh, whatever reason, but it's, it's taking a while. But it's finished now, so. Um, I'm also uh, filming in my uh, conservatory because um, there's not much room in my uh, shed at the minute. Uh, anyway, so I've done a few bullet points for what I want to show you. A um, couple of thank yous first. I'd like to thank Cam Pilot uh, on RC Groups. Uh, big thank you to him because um, he's done a few um, uh, plates, as it were, that uh, you'll see in a minute. Uh, and he sent me the DXF file. And another th thank you for Stefan. Uh, my friend or Stefan on FPV UK Hub uh, for the use of his um, laser CNC machine that cut out for me and he does everything else for me anyway so I mean he's just a good fella and can pilot. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, first off, uh, the motor. The motor is a third, I don't use it, a third, I don't know, this is focusing anyway, it's a 3542. 800 kg motor from Army King. Uh, this is the motor that Cam Pilot recommended, and I'm running on a 11 by 6 carbon prop. Not sure if that's right, but um, anyway, we'll give it a go. Uh, try it. Uh, open up the hatch. Okay, we've got a 70 amp ESC, uh, and underneath the this plate here, I've got the ES, not the ESC, sorry, the um, current sensor which goes into the MFD which I'll show you now in a minute. Uh, this is the Chainlink UHF, really good. Um, I've had this for a while since it first came out, I've never had a minute's problem with it, uh, I'll be sticking with that. Also I'm running on PPM because I didn't want all cables or you know, normally I've got cables everywhere and, and it's just a pain. So I thought, uh, right, this time I'm just going to run it off the PBM um, and away we go. You know, so I've got the PBM as a head tracker power, and also this is the power to the Mobius, which I'll come to in a minute. We've got a 5 amp, sorry, you've got a 3 amp, 5 volt stroke 6 volt back feeding the power to the UHF, and this is a 12 volt uh, regulator. It goes from uh, sort of like 30 odd volts, I think, down to whatever you want to on the potentiometer. And I'm running it at 12 volts to the MFD autopilot again. So that's basically the crack of it in there. Um, like I said, this is the plate that Cam Pilot uh, designed and Stefan cut out for me, so it makes my job a lot easier. Anyway, we're coming to the front of the plane. Uh, obviously, I'm fine for the Mobius. Don't know if I'm going to keep it. I like the Mobius, it's a good quality picture. I'm not sure, because in my goggles, I got the old base fat shot, or well not base, um, RCV, whatever ones, I can't remember what they are. But I've had them for a year, for like five, six years, so, and I love them, I just think they're brilliant. But um, I don't get a full screen for the, for the Mobius. I don't know why, but uh, anyway. Uh, so it's, it's one of them, isn't it? you know what I mean? So I'm going to leave it as it is for the time being, and I'll fly a couple of flights. And if I want to get rid of it, I'll um, I'll change it out for a, a PZ or 420 something like that. You know? And I'm running a you can't really see it a 260 degree swivel. So you know I got I'm not going to bother with the tilt. So I don't think it'll get much tilt there. Not worth it, like you know. So anyway, crack this open. Ah, and then there we go. Right, 
running on the MFD autopilot. Not used it yet, but uh, I've had it a while. I bought it from um, Tim of FPV UK name. A uh, bit of a bargain. Couldn't uh, I just snatch it off that for what he offered for me for it? Uh, there's the GPS. Um, this thing does everything: uh, launch mode, uh, stabilized waypoints. You name it, it does it. It even cook your dinner for you if you want it to. Um, anyway, this is the battery that I was gonna try and go for. If I can get it out with one hand, bear with me. It is. The 5800. I have got the 5000, uh, but still right, quite nose heavy. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to have to do about that. Uh, anyway, this is um, the plate here. I can't see, sorry. The plate here again, which uh, Cam Pilot designed. And down there is the plate as well, which obviously is out of it now, which um, for the battery tray that uh, Cam Pilot did as well. Uh, bags of room in there. If I actually. I haven't got no, I'm sorry. Um, I haven't got the 4000 three cell, which fits and balances the plane lovely. So obviously this motor is designed for the four and five cell, which I'm going to run a four cell. So I'm looking, thinking I'm going to have to buy more batteries, which I didn't really want to do. But hey, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. So anyway, that's the flight control, that's all the governs inside the back of it, with the ESC and the current sensor. Um, the power now, you've got, I've got a 3 volt, sorry, 3 amp going to the um, uh, chain link, going to the chain link, which then powers 5 volts to the uh, Mobius, and the video out then goes to the MFD. Uh, that then powers the 12 volt from here, which powers the MFD, then powers the video transmitter. And what I've done here, just tidy up things. And what I've done here is I've built an extension. This, this extension in here goes underneath into the video transmitter so I can carry this away uh, so nothing's going to get damaged but I built this um, antenna but then it's, it's too long I mean you know that is ridiculous so what I'm going to do is I had another cover off Stefan last night so it'll probably only be about that, that tall there so I'll build another one of these uh, the next day or so <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> and uh, swap that out. But I leave it on there because I'm a bugger for not having antennas on my transmitters. So anyway, I'll turn this over. So now I'm looking underneath. What I did was there's the video transmitter. Now, the holes are cut already in the the wings. So you have to do nothing at all to the to the wings, all cut. I just covered them with um, strong tape, you know, the, <coughs> the nylon tape. There's a servo. Did have a problem with that servo, is it burned out on me? I don't know why, I didn't uh, do anything wrong. Um, I don't know, it just burned out on me. And that put me back a, a couple few days. So anyway, um, but the, on here and in here, you have D-sub connectors. Didn't bother using them. Uh, it was a right royal pain in the backside, so I don't, didn't bother doing with them. So I'm not going to take the wings off. Uh, it'll be stored in my um, cave uh, uh, like this, so this will be just kept in like that. So I didn't bother using the connectors because it was a right pain in the ass. Uh, there's the servo. I haven't put tape on this bit here yet, uh, but there's my chain link uh, antenna. Um, there's the motor again. Uh, you got. Uh, room here for a camera. This is how the wings are uh, connected. You've got a long um, spar going across here. I think it's from about from about from here to here is a spar. Okay, and then this then is how it's uh, bolted together. So that's about it really. Um, take that over. 
Weather's uh, not the best here at the minute. Uh, I'm back at work now for another seven days tomorrow, so I've got no chance of uh, maintaining this. So, um, so as soon as I get any uh, flying done, I'll um, come back and um, update this video. Thanks for watching and. Um, Me, one finger, keep things nice and neat. And that's it. Cheers.